Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the top stocks that are out of this world that could give us fantastic growth. We're also going to be going over the most actively traded stocks, some of the most popular stocks, and the stocks that I personally am buying. So for more stock news updates and news about which companies I am buying and adding to my portfolio, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your favorite stock down below that didn't make it in this video and without further ado I say let's jump right into today's story. So the first company we're going to talk about is a favorite speculative risky growth stock of mine which is SoFi Technologies Inc. ticker symbol SOFI. Right now the SoFi share price trades for $5.20 and if you're not familiar with this company this is essentially a fintech company which also operates and owns their own bank and this makes SoFi Technologies one of the most innovative fintech tech companies that could literally disrupt the entire banking industry. SoFi Technologies offers an all-in-one inclusive digital app which gives their consumers access to various financial services and financial products. Right now the SoFi share price trades for $5.20 which to me is slightly trading at a premium but I anticipate the stock price will fall a little further down to where this is a fantastic buying opportunity. But other professionals actually think that this company is undervalued right now, especially a Bank of America analyst who has then increased their overall rating for this company from a neutral rating to a buy rating. So from a hold rating to a buy rating and they also gave this company a stock price target increase from $8 up to $9. So potentially you can make a lot of money over the next 12 months by this company's stock price increasing from $5.20 up to $9 per share. The next company we're going to talk about is Neo Inc. ticker symbol N. IO, and this is a Chinese electric vehicle company. NIO's share price currently is $10.40, but many investors and professionals think it's undervalued right now, considering the overall macro global economy is not doing very well, on top of China particularly not doing well, plus various geopolitical tensions between the US and China has sent the stock price dropping like a rock, but this allows us to pick up the pieces and invest into this company for the long term because potentially this could be a great buying opportunity. Neo designs, develops, manufactures, and sells various smart electric vehicles over in China and they are further integrating themselves into the European markets which is absolutely fantastic. And I also want to mention that a Barclays analyst actually maintained an overweight rating for this company, which is good news. However, he did lower his stock price target from $34 down to $19, but clearly $19 is still substantially higher than the current stock price of $10.40. So if you want more exposure to a solid EV company overseas, then NEO could be the company for you. I also want to mention that in this video, a lot of these companies have received stock price cuts for their overall price targets and price predictions among professionals and that's because a lot of these companies are laying off of various employees because they are anticipating a rough recessionary environment ahead. So these price targets even though some of them are dropping it's still substantially higher than the current stock prices of most of these companies. The next business we will talk about is Vale SA ticker symbol VALE which trades for $15.20 per share. Vale if you didn't already know produces and sells iron ore and iron ore pellets to use in raw materials and steel making. And we have good news for this company because a Deutsche Bank analyst maintained a hold rating for this company and only lowered his price target by $1 from $20 down to $19. But again, this is a very stable company that offers a very competitive dividend of 8.92 for their dividend yield. So if you want a company with very stable growth, a great dividend, and solid fundamentals, this could be a company for you. And all of the companies that we've gone over so far, I personally have a buy rating on, which would include SoFi Technologies, Vale, as well as Neo. But we're going to get into a couple companies that I personally would not buy right now, and we will start this list off with Snap Inc, ticker symbol SNAP, which trades for $10.60 per share. This is a social media company that operates a camera company in North America, Europe, and 
and internationally. The reason why I don't have a buy rating for this stock right now is I believe the company will fall further in their share price, particularly as we enter a more recessionary type of environment regarding the overall stock market and the economy. So I think the share price right now is trading at an okay discount, but I do believe it will plummet in price a little more. However, analysts believe that the company is trading close to their fair value and could potentially even increase over the next 12 months. An analyst recently lowered his price target from $16 down to $12, but because $12 is clearly higher than $10.60, you could squeeze out some value for this company over the next 12 months. However, I will not be investing into Snapchat or Snap Inc. over the next year. Another company we have on our list that I am not buying, but I want you to be aware of it because we could have different risk tolerances, different strategies, and an overall different portfolio setup, and that would be Ford Motor Company, ticker symbol F. Right now, the share price of Ford is trading for $14 per share. And this company is a well-known vehicle company that designs, manufactures, markets, and even services a range of various Ford vehicles. Ford is also trying to integrate themselves into the EV EV market, the electric vehicle market, and I think they are doing pretty well at that, but as of right now, I am not comfortable investing into this company. The low-end share price from analysts for their price target is $10, and the high-end price prediction goes as high as $28. So you do have the potential of doubling your overall money in this company. However, I think that the overall stock price, particularly on the bullish side, is somewhat overly optimistic compared to their competition. Up next, we have one of my favorite companies that I've been buying probably for the last few months, and that is none other than Micron Technology Inc., ticker symbol MU. Right now, this company trades at around $59 per share, and I really like this company because I think they have a great future ahead of them. Now, temporarily, I do believe that the stock price for this particular investment will drop lower, so maybe right now it wouldn't be an ideal time to buy this company for $59, but in the future, for a long term investment, or if you are a long term investor, this could be phenomenal. This company is known for designing, manufacturing, and selling memory and storage products for computers. An analyst from Wells Fargo even chimed in on this stock and maintained an overweight rating. However, they lowered their price target from $90 down to $75. However, like we've been saying, $75 is higher than the current stock price of $59. So if you want a strong growth company with stable and predictable revenue, Micron Technology could be the company for you, but again, in the short term, I think this company will pull back in their stock price a little more, which is why I am averaging down my average cost for this company. Next up, we have Tesla Inc., ticker symbol TSLA, and this is an electric vehicle company, and honestly, they are the top dog for an electric vehicle company. Now, Tesla does a lot of other things. They are not just an electric vehicle company. For instance, they design, develop, manufacture, lease, and sell various electric vehicles, but they are also also involved in energy generation and energy storage. The current share price of the TSLA stock trades for $178 per share. However, we have price targets that range anywhere between $267 and $436 over the next year. On top of that, a Morgan Stanley analyst maintained an overweight buy rating for Tesla and he lowered his price target only by $20 down from $350 to $330. However, $330 is way higher than the current share price of $178, so this could be a phenomenal play to get into right now if you're willing to hold it for the next year or over the long term. Now we're going to start getting into the top five companies that I have analyzed that are on this list, and we're going to start off the list with AMD. It currently trades for $73 per share, and this is a very well-known semiconductor company that has a global reach. Each. Recently, an analyst had a buy rating for this company, but he did lower his price target by $9 from $100 down to $91. Again, a lot of professionals are lowering their price targets as we enter into a more recessionary environment as many investors start to clean up their portfolio and trim any risky growth investments on top of the Federal Reserve increasing interest rates to get inflation under control. Plus, many of these companies are laying off a lot of their employees so they can not only save money, but also survive the current economy. 
Next up, we have one of my favorite stocks, which is Apple Inc, ticker symbol AAPL, which trades for $150 per share. If you didn't already know, Apple designs, manufactures, markets, and optimizes smartphones, personal computers, tablets, various wearable electronic devices, and accessories that go along with those devices. Recently, an analyst maintained an outperform buy rating for this company, and he believes the company could achieve $170 by the end of the year. So I think this could be an absolutely insane investment, and Apple has been one of the best all-time investments over the last decade. So if you're not already exposed to this company, you should definitely look into that, but always make sure to do your own research. Up next, we have Uber Technologies Inc, ticker symbol UBER, and this company is most notably known for their ride-sharing service. However, they also develop and operate their own proprietary technology applications worldwide. Right now, the current share price trades for $29, but a Cohen analyst believes this company could surge up to $70 per share. So depending on how much you like this company or how much risk you're willing to take on, this could be the company for you, but always make sure to do your own research to ensure that this company aligns with your own risk tolerance and your investing strategy. In our number two spot, we have a company that has been absolutely bludgeoned lately, and their share price fell to $112, and that would be none other than Meta Platforms Inc., ticker symbol M-E-T-A, ticker name Meta. This company was formerly known as Facebook, and they operate a plethora of various social media companies and various applications. This company specializes in the development of products that enable people to connect and share their experiences through photos, videos, and other mediums on mobile devices, personal computers, and even virtual realities. They also make various wearables and in-home devices while selling this technology to people across the entire world. Now, even though the company has absolutely been bludgeoned in their stock price, I find this as a great buying opportunity. A partners analyst even said and maintained a buy rating for this company with a price target of $140. But this is going to bring us to our number one pick, which is one of my all-time favorite companies besides Google, and that would be Amazon.com Inc., ticker symbol AMZN, which trades for $93. This is an absolute steal. Now, Amazon is another company that is laying off a lot of their employees, but once investors see this and they liquidate their shares, that's going to move the share price lower temporarily, and this allows long-term investors such as you and I to grab up and steal that stock price at an extremely cheap price point, and because we have a longer-term investment time horizon, we should buy cheap and then wait for the company to rebound. And that's why I love this company, because analysts believe this company could be worth $140 according to a Morgan Stanley analyst, and Amazon also also just has a very good market reach. They are a booming company in terms of e-commerce and their overall cloud computing technology, and that would definitely be my top pick on this list. And I anticipate it to average down my average cost for each of these companies very meticulously over the next year, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Don't forget to smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.